And I had no idea what drill rapping was, but I called my son and he sent me some videos and it is alarming. And we are going to pull together the social media companies and sit down with them and state that you have a civic and corporate responsibility. You know, I mean, we pulled Trump off Twitter because of what he was spewing. Yet we are allowing uh, uh, music, displaying of guns, violence. We're allowing it to stay uh, on these sites uh, because look at the victims. We're bringing them in. We're going to show exactly what is being uh, displayed and we are alarmed by it. Uh, we are alarmed by the use of social media to really over proliferate this violence in our community. So the mayor of New York City wants to basically ban drill music across all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, in an attempt to decrease the crime. Now, if you don't know what drill music is, it's essentially murder music. It's music inspired by gang members from Chicago. The word drill is basically a new term for a drive by. Okay, gang members go out, they look for their enemy and they shoot them. Another word for drilling, killing. It's it basically kill music, murder music. Now, crime is up everywhere across the nation. There are more unemployed people than ever before. Crime, even in the suburbs, has spiked. There are more car thefts than ever before. Lawlessness is on the rise nationwide. Okay, and the people that control this country, the, the people in the authoritative positions, the mayors, the uh, the, 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 you know, the aldermans and the, the, the uh, Congress people, they're always looking for ways to decrease crime. The only problem is they're not looking to the answer. OK, they're looking for ways to take away the things that they believe cause the crime. But we as Christians know the real reason why the crime is so bad and the way the reason it's always been so bad. If we look at Genesis 6, 5, the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. This was in the first century. This is before they had electricity. This is before they had knives and guns. And the Lord saw that mankind was just wicked, evil, to the point where he had to kill him with the flood. All but eight people were destroyed with the flood. That's how wicked they are. We're no different than the people in the first century. The only difference is we have access to weapons, okay? Now, the problem is you'll see that these Congress people, these these lawmen, these mayors, they'll, they'll rally and get communities to start, you know, stop the violence rallies. And, you know, people will be walking through the streets in the community with stop the violence signs. And yeah, violence may stop for a couple of days, but what happens? Inevitably, they get right back to it. Why? Because the people that are committing the violence did not change. They got emotional. They got caught up in the rally and they got they said, OK, this is bad. Let's stop doing this. But they get right back to it because they did not change. It's like trying to, it's like forcing a pig to eat something that a sheep would eat and expecting it to continue on eating that. No, eventually it's going to go back to the slot because it's a pig. Now, what's the answer? The answer is the very thing that changes that which is wicked, the, the heart. It's a heart issue. Jeremiah 79, the heart is deceitfully wicked. And that speaks of every single human being that walks this earth. We are a wicked people. And the answer is not stop the violence rallies. The answer is Jesus Christ, the one who can change the heart. OK, and so until we look to the answer, which is Christ, crime is not going to decrease. It's going to only rise. And the only way to decrease it is really get more people saved than we have lost. That's the only way you're going to really see a decrease in crime, because people, when they get saved, uh, their thoughts, their desires change. They go from being criminals to law abiding citizens because they now fear God. And so that's the answer. And until the people in power start looking at the answer, nothing's going to change.